Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It is Will and his boo Jose. And we decided to take like we're normally used to doing a weekend trip somewhere. And this weekend we became, <laughs> we came to Ratchaberry. And he pronounced it right this yeah, time. Yeah, so not, not to be confused with Kachanaberry. Kachanaberry. <laughs> Kachanaberry. Yeah. He's still, you know what? It's a, it's a battle we're gonna fight for the rest of his life yeah. probably. And it's fine. Needless to say, we got here safe and sound. We checked into our accommodation. At the Napa Ratchaberry Hotel. Um, super cute, downtown. Um, very modern, clean, simple. We just need simple. Somewhere nice we can sleep, take a we shower. Do. That's it. We've learned our lesson. We are not spending lots of money on a hotel that's because what, that's not the point of like our channel. Our not even just our channel, but like of our trips. Except Krabby, that made sense. We'll leave it there and tag along as we take you guys on this journey of ours. Mm -hmm. First stop here at Ratchaberry is the infamous Calpin Cave. It's like yeah. a 10 minute ride from the city. Mm -hmm. um, it's 300 meters, it's massive. We're super excited. Plus it's hot, so we're like, we should do something inside. Yeah. So we're not burning up. I don't know what, why is that the Grinch? All right, so here's the entrance to the cave. There is a fee to get in. It was 20 baht per person. Wow. This entrance pretty like epic. Mythical? Yeah, mythical yes. epic. Let's go do it. So we went to Mexico in 2019. 2019. And we went to the cave. I can't remember the name of it, but it was beautiful, but it was very, very man like manicured. Um, but not nearly as open and I don't know. What do you think in comparison? I mean, it's not as grand as the one from Mexico, but I would say that um, that we are relatively closer to more of like the rock formations here than we were yes. in Mexico. You'll see. This is so freaking cool. Like you can't touch these at other caves. Like they would close this off. Look at that, it keeps getting lower and lower. So I hope you guys got your your twerking knees ready because <laughs> you're gonna be dropping it low. <laughs> so Will and I have had our fair share of cave explorations but this might be our most favorite one. Not only because they're like, whoa, look at that. Super close. Are these crystals in there? Mm -hmm. um, but you're also, well. Like you're part of it. Yeah, you're you part of it. Like you're not a mile away from it. Like you're literally touching them, walking underneath them. Like they're in your space. Pretending you're in their space, but. It's, it, look, it feels more authentic and raw. He's ridiculous. So if anybody watches this video, we've noticed there's a few sections where there's a red light. Clearly there's a reason for it. If you know, please comment below so we're informed. Guys, you're in a cave, so it's going to have, it's going to be wet. Please don't wear flip flops or like slides because I saw three people almost bust their ass here. Yeah, they almost ate it. Like. Wear shoes, like with he oh, as my babe on this. <laughs> yes, it's like a massive dome in here. Yeah, hands down, this is probably way better than the one we saw on the outskirts of Mexico City. Yeah, just because it's not only well lit, 
but also will pack. And the, what, what do you call these again? Stalagmites. Stalagmites are intense. You guys see that one? That one reminds me of the pick I use to clean out my teeth every night. Yes, come on, plaque. All right, it's not plaque. I'm just plus. taking care of my teeth. Mm, it's plaque. And then everybody's getting this photo shoot. Yes, and she is heavy. We've been walking. How long have we been walking for already? Like 20 minutes? Yeah, good 20 minutes. So good 20 minutes inside the cave. And I know it's a cave, so what else is there to see, right? We love this type of stuff. Yes. Like, we're in a freaking cave. Are you kidding me? There's history. There's everything here. Are you kidding? Like, right. we love caves. It's like we're seeing people just fly by, like, pew, go through this like it's a race. And we're over here just taking our time, looking through it. We aren't geologists, so we really don't know. Well, Will is clearly, he knows. What's the word? Oh, stalagmites. Stalagmites. Hmm. The more you know. Needless to say, we love this these type of things and we're just gonna keep showing you what else Ratchbury has. And I'm making sure I'm pronouncing it correctly because a lot of you guys gave me some heat for Kitchenaburi. Kitchenaburi, you're so- Oh, Kitchenaburi. <laughs> no, I See? didn't say ketchup in a berry. <laughs> this place has a little bit of everything. For, of everything and for all ages. We had the caves for us mature people and the little sheeps for me. me. The so, big children at heart. Oh, 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 okay. Oh my God, it's so cute. Wait, that looks really cute. I'm obsessed with it. I I would have my birthday here. <laughs> oh, and they're calling your name. Ah. Wait, ah. wait, buddy. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Mama's about to feed them. All right, I'll give you some. Get some. Wait, mommy. Wait. Give me a minute. Oh, wait. Whoa. Be nice. Guys. Come on. Patience. 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 Whoa, Patience. look at him. Oh. All oh, the babies. Oh, wait. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what would you rate it? The cave? Yeah. I would rate it a 10. We had a lot of fun. It was, I mean, it's a cave, like stalagmites, all of that, but it's still fun to go inside of them. I mean, it's still a piece of earth history. Like, you don't know what's inside there. Plus, we're kids at heart. We like, yeah. we like to go explore and do all that. You? Uh, 10 out of 10 for sure. Yeah. Favorite part? Favorite part was probably just how close we were to the stalactites, and just being able to see the inside of a stalactite. I didn't know that there were crystals in there, so that was all new to me. Yeah, fun, fun times, good times. He's so rude, but he's mocking the way I walk when I have to use the bathroom. He's exaggerating. <laughs> There's a storm coming in and the wind's been blowing it all over. <laughs> no, it's like super windy up here. Um, we have made it to Wat Nang Hoi here in Ratchaburi. Um, it's a big, beautiful Buddha statue, which you're gonna see. The wind is blowing, it's about to start storming, but um, the view from up here, it's holy crap, we did not expect it. Okay, we thought, oh, the wind. We'll wait. We'll wait, yeah, we'll wait. We know it's windy, you guys, but we're trying to talk loud enough while celebrating these beautiful looking water here. But this is beautiful. And the view. We talked about Kitchenaburi having the best view. I think I'm gonna take that back and say that Ratchbury has the best 360 view. I think 
this is a moment for us to be very transparent with you all. Um, before filming our first shot, um, Will and I got in a little disagreement or there was just a misunderstanding in our language. And although we've been together for five years, I just want to say that- Six, like, oh six, my gosh, why is it so hard years. for you? I've been doing a countdown. There are still things that we are learning about each other. So traveling may seem easy as a couple, or as a duo, but there still are some challenges that come with it. Um, but I am very appreciative of William for understanding um, that oftentimes I'm not as clear as I think I am when I'm trying to say something to him and vice versa. Yeah, and of course I'm sorry that you don't understand me, but <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, no, like any couple out there, you guys have like a little, you know how to poke each other. Like you know the button to push when you want a reaction and somebody likes to always get a reaction and then boohoo about it. <laughs> but anyway, this isn't about our relationship. This place is beautiful, but yes. yeah. I think it was just uh, the scenic views that we're getting up here that's giving me that thought. Um, just wanted to share with you guys that we aren't perfect, but we do our best to show who we are on screen and share with you what happens off screen. We are who we are. Yeah. Also, if you're coming to Thailand, don't bring chucks. They're just a pain in the butt to put them on if you're visiting temples. Just say U.S. U.S. Yeah, because I've gotten caught saying I'm from Bangkok, and they're like, "Bitch!" <laughs> they're like, "No, you're not. You from are Bangkok. not from Bangkok. You live there <laughs> right now, but you are not from Bangkok." And on that note, you guys, we made it to our next destination. Yes. Anybody know where we're at? We'll give you a hint. Yes. That was creepy. You guys, it's beautiful. Lots of Thai people, it's nice to see. If you haven't guessed it from the clue I gave you, we made it to one of Ratchaberry's most beautiful scenic attractions. Uh, yes, we are at Khao Nung Park. And what does Nung stand for, babe? Snake, I'm learning snake. that. <laughs> and we'll love him a good old snake. The only snake that's ever been cool is Banana. <laughs> Banana who? Those 2001 VMAs, you know. Guys. We Sorry. will not go without hearing of Britney Spears in any of these videos moving forward. It is what it is. All right, guys, we wanted to walk the whole entire thing, but look, it's flooded, so um, we're not going to. They might just have to rename this to Bird Shedding Park because Will just got shit on by a bird. Yeah. I told them it's good luck, though. I'll take it. Yeah? I'll take all the good luck. Plus, it comes off. It's water. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. While Will has fun with his toys, also known as his little drone, I want to share with you guys how upset I am that the Stone Park is, you know, cut short for us since of the flooding on the trail. And the fact that we haven't really seen any um, English translation in a lot of the attractions, right babe? Yeah, unlike um, many of the other provinces and towns we've been to, that you always have like, you know, a public attraction that draws in a lot of people, foreign people. Um, they always have English written somewhere. Um, we haven't noticed that at all anywhere here. Yeah. And I mean, we're not upset about it, but just a little side note, pay yeah. a little extra more attention to where you're going, things. Mm -hmm. But yeah. That's it. Speeding hour. Well, 
since the trail is blocked off, people are riding these little bungalows. Oh, I'm sorry, what? They're oh wait, they're not bungalows. All right, if you guys see, if you see it, you see it. What does it look like? I, just, I found our new pet. I Brittany. <gasps> she, but I said Brit Brit. Hey Brit Brit. No, it's not good. I think we found our new assistant. <laughs> 